This Mass is offered for the intentions of the Legion of Mary and Thanksgiving offered by Margaret and family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, the strength of those who hope in you, Graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may praise you by our resolve and our, our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Elijah was covered by the whirlwind, and Elisha was filled with his spirit. A reading from the book of Sirach. The prophet Elijah arose like a fire, and his word burnt like a torch. He brought a famine upon them, and by his zeal he made them few in number. By the word of the Lord, he shut up the heavens and also three times brought down fire. How glorious you were, O Elijah, in your wondrous deeds. And who has the right to boast that which you have? You have raised a corpse from death. And from Hades, by the word of the Most High, who brought kings down to destruction and famous men from their beds, who heard rebukes at Sinai and judgments of vengeance at Horeb, who anointed kings to inflict retribution and prophets to succeed you, you who were taken up by the whirlwind of fire in a chariot of horses of fire. You who all are already at the appointed time, it is written to calm the wrath of God before it breaks out in fury, to turn the heart of the father to the son and to restore the tribes of Jacob. Blessed are those who saw you and those who have fallen asleep in love. For we also shall surely live. It was Elijah who was covered by the whirlwind and Elisha was filled with his spirit. He performed twice as many signs and marvels with every utterance of his mouth. In all his days, he did not tremble before any ruler, and no one brought him into subjugation. Nothing was too hard for him, and when he was dead, his body prophesied. As in his life he did wonders, and so in death his deeds are marvelous. The word of the Lord. Your response, rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is king, let earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Cloud and darkness surround him. Justice and right 
are the foundation of his throne. Response, rejoice in the Lord, you just. A fire prepares his path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightning lights up the world. The earth looks on and trembles. Response, rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the face of the Lord. Before the face of the Lord of all the earth, the skies proclaim his justice. All people see his glory. Response, rejoice in the Lord, you just. Let those who serve idols be ashamed. Those who boast of their worthless gods, all you angels worship him. Response. Rejoice yes. in the Lord, you just. Alleluia. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia. Sing alleluia. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. You have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Chapter 6, verses from 7 to 15. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, When you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do for they think they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then like this, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, <clears throat> thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for if you forgive others their trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you but if you do not forgive others their trespasses neither will your father forgive your trespasses the Gospel of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer fruit of the earth and work of human hands. This will become a spiritual world of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness. We have this of the of the world, work of the world, of spirit children. Blessed be God, Lord God. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O 
O God, we in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread through all the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesed in the life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> in today's Gospel, Jesus taught us a very beautiful prayer, raising our hearts and minds and spirit. Let's say, Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever Amen. the peace of the lord be with you always let's offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us. We receive it, Lord Jesus Christ, with love and mercy. Eat your body and drink your blood. Let it not bring me condemnation, but health in mind and body. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I'm not worthy that you should enter my room. I will receive the word. My soul shall be healed. There is one thing I ask of the Lord only this do I seek to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life Psalm 26 verse 4 Let us pray As this reception of your holy communion O Lord foreshadows the union of the faithful in you so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord the Lord be with you and may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit go the masses ended